Good morning. Welcome to the book of Malachi. Today we're at Malachi chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Let's read it, then we'll think about it. My covenant was with him, one of life and peace, and I gave them to him that he might fear me. So he feared me and was reverent before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and injustice was not found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity and turned many away from iniquity. This is talking about Levi, and if you go back to Exodus 32, verse 16, you have that sequence there. You might remember Moses had come down from the mountain, he had the Ten Commandments, he came down, he says, I think I hear a sound of war, no, said Joshua, it's a sound of music and dancing, and he came upon the people spread out in apostasy, and he called all people to him, and who came to Moses there to, to save the day, who came to staunch the tide of wickedness and evil. It was the, the tribe of Levi. And so the Levites came and he actually said, take every man his weapon and slay your brother. In other words, put God above this, this sensual sin business that was all going on right in God's face, right there on Mount Sinai. And they did. And so the Levites were a very faithful group and they stopped the happening of sin in the camp. And that gives you a little piece of the the covenant of Levi. But that's Exodus 32, verse 16, and right in there, take a look at it. That helps us understand verse 5 and 6. My covenant was with him, one of life and peace. I gave them to him that he might fear me. So he feared me and was reverent before my name. The tribe of Levi was willing to stand for truth in the face of sensual indulgence and just what the group was doing. The group was doing, hey, let's let's experience, let's behave like animals out of our minds. And God said, no, no, I don't think so. And so the law of truth was in his mouth and justice was not found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity and turned many away from iniquity. Yes, some died at that terrible experience. They had chosen to, to sin against God in his face there at, Mount, at the foot of Mount Sinai when Moses is bringing the Ten Commandments back down. 3,800 or thereabouts were slaughtered. You can read about it in Exodus 32. But here's somebody who turned many away from iniquity. Yes, some died, but the Levites were faithful. And so that's the covenant with Levi. They have to stand, the priests have to stand against sin, against sin in all of its forms. Uh, They're not to coddle it. They're not to okay it. They're to stand set apart for God and help the people be set apart for God. That's the, the covenant of Levi. And so as Malachi, God's messenger, looks at this, he says, they were doing what God told them to do. They were being faithful. They were stopping sin. And so, application, what about you and I? Well, we need to make certain that we're being careful, that we are bringing people up higher. We're not bringing them down lower. We're calling them up to God's standard instead of saying, oh, it's okay, everybody, just do what the world does. Don't worry about it. We are calling people up higher, and that's what we need to do if we will be faithful to this principle in the covenant of Levi, the principle of bringing people up spiritually higher. And so, interesting things to think about. The law of truth was in his mouth. The priests, they turned many away from iniquity. That's always, always the mission for God's people. And so, that'll be the mission for you and I. Are we doing that in, our, in your local church, in my local church? Are we faithfully turning people away from iniquity, turning people away from sin? Something to think about. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, you are always calling us to help people be separated from sin. Help Help us to do that. Help us to do it faithfully, even when every other thing around us is sort of pointing in an opposite direction. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. What matters is your word, and your word is crystal clear about sin and righteousness. Lord, help your people to be crystal clear about sin and righteousness. And this is what we're thinking today as we pray to you and call for you to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So may God do that very thing for us. And Help us to be faithful in these unfaithful times. God be with you today.